Ever wondered how to add a gift wrapped options to WooCommerce? Here's a quick and simple way to do just that. And here's an example which I've created on our test site. Here, they need to opt in for this gift wrapping service. So do you want this gift wrap? We can select yes. If we select yes, then this field is conditionally displaying based on our previous action, right? And we can add our personalized message here. Another example, which I'll show you throughout this video is here, we're allowing our customers to choose the wrap design and then they can add their personalized message. Of course, just like before, we can have these field conditionally display based on them opting in to this gift wrapping service, right? So it's totally up to you. As you'll see, we've got numerous different customization option in how you can actually provide a gift wrapping service to your customers. If you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP extra product options plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. So to do so, we'll just head over to AOVUP and navigate over to product add-on or add-ons. And then we'll just go ahead and create a new option set. We'll give it a name. We'll just say gift wrap, just for internal purposes. And we want to apply this to a specific product. So we'll select this option here. And then we'll search for the product in which we want to assign this to. So we set our perfume, right? And now we'll scroll down and let's go ahead and add a, we'll add a checkbox. And yeah, we'll paste in our title description. We'll leave it blank. And then we'll just have, yes, we can have yes or no. It's totally up to you. And we can add a image. All right. And this can be a free option or it can be a paid option. I'm going to charge like the example. I'm going to charge $5 or this particular gift wrap option. So it can be a fixed price or it can be a percentage amount based on a product. So if the product is $100, maybe we can charge 10% of that total price, right? So it's up to you. All right, so let's hit save changes. In fact, we need to do one extra step, but let's just quickly have a look at this. Let's see how the progress is coming on. All right, so we've got this image here. It doesn't look quite ni as nice um, being there but we'll sort it out in a second. Um, so when to tick this yes option, right? So the price is increasing, which is fine, but we also wanna show them that custom message box, right? So we're gonna create a conditional field to display that second option there. So let's head back over here and let's go ahead and select a text area. And for the label, we'll just say enter custom message. All right. And then for the conditional display, let's head over to conditional logic. Let's enable this option. And we only want to show this text area field if all of these rules match, right? So essentially we're just going to say the customer selected yes and the state is selected. So that's the only time we'll see this text area here. So again, let's refresh this page. All right. And now when we tick this option, we can see this custom message. Now we can quickly play with the styling. So let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's click on this option here. Let's navigate over to display and style. All right, so we're gonna try adding the image here. We're gonna show the image on the left-hand side. All right, so let's just hit save, refresh this page. All right, and we'll remove this image. All right, so this is version one. We can play with the styling some more, but I wanna quickly show you the second method. And then if we've got time at the end, we can further customize the styling. But essentially, this is a simple way to add gift wrapped options to a specific product or even an entire category, right? So let's head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate back over to our main settings area here. Let's add a new option set. We'll say, again, we'll select specific products. So this time we'll allow our customers to choose the wrapping material and add various other options as well. So we're gonna select um, label an image and we're gonna say wrap design. Let's say red. All right, we'll add an image. All right, then we'll say green. We can have this be a cost option or a no cost option. And then we'll add an area so they can add their message, right? All right, and we'll check this out on the front end. So in this version, we haven't actually added an opt-in. It's done in a way where it seems they need to enter it in. So just like what we've done earlier, where we made these field conditional based on the user actually opting in for this particular service, we can do the same thing. All right, so I mentioned in the intro that I'll show you also a bonus tip. Let's say you didn't want um, the gift wrapped option on the product page. If you use the all-in-one checkout plugin, then you can add a custom field on the checkout page 
where they can opt in for a gift wrapping service. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box.